I remember quite vividly we used to count submissions on a whiteboard and when we had 30 submissions one day uh, when we hit a record we all went out for drinks and that was such a milestone so a million just feels um, crazy. I w would have found it difficult to believe. I'm really amazed. Blimey, um, I would have been staggered. Wow, that's a lot of articles. Wow. I would say that's brilliant. Well, I spent much of my early career having to explain the benefits of open access. Um, so this milestone delights me. I'm very delighted that more and more researchers are embracing open access publication. I think it would be a very um, big surprise to me. It would also indicate that we would have to be a company that would be truly committed and invested to um, an open science uh, future. Um, I was an admin assistant and it really was just all hands on deck then. It wasn't glamorous, um, but it was a lot of fun. The main thing for me is how friendly and family-like environment uh, uh, it was. Ten years later, I found myself with the exact same people who interviewed me uh, celebrating uh, uh, now as friends. Pure excitement, just being part of something where you know that this will change the publishing industry. I remember having a conversation when I first joined the company with somebody I was kind of doing introductory talks with various people around the company to find out about their roles and bits and pieces. And I asked about open access and the response I had was open access is the future. In Nature Portfolio, Nature Communications was rather special because this journal was launched as the first nature title providing open access as an option for publication. And there was still a long way to go before uh, our researchers could see the true value of this new publishing model.